Nearly 50% of the world's population needs some form of vision correction. Today, approximately 45 million people worldwide enjoy the benefits of wearing contact lenses to meet this need. Contact lenses and associated lens care products require skill and training by both practitioners and consumers alike for proper fitting and use. SebaVision presents Basics of Contact Lenses. This video highlights the advantages and benefits of contact lens wear, different types of contact lenses, the importance of oxygen, contact lens materials and their characteristics, and contact lens manufacturing methods. A contact lens is a small, thin plastic disc designed to rest on the cornea, the clear outer surface of the eye. When in place on the cornea, the contact lens bends light so that it is focused clearly on the retina, providing clear vision to the wearer. Contact lenses offer many advantages. Since they are almost invisible when placed on the eye, a more natural appearance is one of the most important benefits enjoyed by contact lens wearers. Tinted contact lenses also offer the added cosmetic benefit of changing or enhancing eye color. And many people find contact lenses more convenient than eyeglasses for sports and other strenuous activities and enjoy the wider field of view and improve peripheral vision. Furthermore, contact lenses never get in the way or slide down the nose like eyeglasses do. Contact lenses are safe medical devices, but several common misconceptions about them should be explained. One misconception is that a contact lens can get lost behind the eye. This is not possible since the lining of the eyelids fold over to form a pocket which traps the lens. Some people may think that contact lenses are only suitable for young adults. In fact, they are appropriate for all age groups, including children and those over 40. Contact lenses may seem like cosmetic products or beauty accessories, but they are medical devices which affect ocular tissue and vision. They do require careful fitting and follow-up care by trained personnel to prevent problems and ensure successful wear. Contact lenses can be classified into two broad categories according to the type of material from which they are made. Rigid lenses and soft or hydrophilic lenses. Each type of lens has special features, advantages and disadvantages. Rigid lenses are further divided into two categories. Hard or PMMA lenses and rigid gas permeable lenses or RGPs. Hard lenses are made from the original contact lens material, polymethyl methacrylate, or PMMA. These lenses provide good optical correction, but do not allow oxygen to pass through the lens to the cornea. This interferes with normal corneal health, and therefore the use of this type of contact lens has declined dramatically. A wide variety of rigid gas permeable lens materials has been developed. They provide good optical correction, but unlike PMMA lenses, they do transmit oxygen through the lens to the eye, so that corneal health is not compromised. Although RGP lenses in general offer less comfort than soft lenses, they continue to be a popular contact lens option. Soft lenses provide the best comfort of all types of contact lenses. They are made from advanced plastics which readily absorb water. Thus, they are called water-loving or hydrophilic materials. The presence of water makes the plastic soft and pliable and allows oxygen to pass through the lens to the cornea. Unlike RGP lenses, the larger diameters of soft lenses allow the lens edges to position under the upper and lower eyelids, avoiding the sensitive eyelid margins. Soft lenses are usually comfortable as soon as they are placed on the eye. And this is a major reason for the tremendous success of these lenses. Soft lenses may be tinted and are ideal for eye color change or enhancement. Contact lenses are classified according to the way in which they are worn. 
daily wear lenses are only worn during waking hours, generally up to a maximum of 18 hours per day. Extended wear lenses may be worn continuously, even during sleep. Contact lenses are also classified according to how often they are replaced. Conventional lenses are replaced after the useful life of the lens has elapsed, typically from 12 to 24 months. Planned replacement lenses are generally replaced every one to six months, and disposable contact lenses are typically replaced every one to two weeks. Regardless of the classification, successful lens wear depends on its ability to transmit oxygen. Normal air is composed of 21% oxygen. Oxygen molecules must dissolve in the tear film to supply the cornea with its oxygen requirement, since the cornea normally contains no blood vessels. During sleep, with the eyes closed, the eyelids block the oxygen that comes from the air. The small blood vessels in the eyelids provide only about one-third of the oxygen normally supplied with the eyes open. This relative lack of oxygen, or hypoxia, causes the cornea to swell slightly during sleep. This swelling is called corneal edema and can be measured as an increase in corneal thickness. The cornea typically swells 4% during sleep and deswells to its normal thickness after awakening. When placed on the eye, contact lenses act as a barrier between the cornea and its oxygen supply. However, oxygen is still available to reach the cornea in two ways. Diffusion through the lens material and the tear pump, which carries oxygen-rich tears under the lens with each blink. With rigid lenses, the tear pump can exchange from 14 to 20 percent of the tear volume with each blink. With soft lenses, a much smaller amount, from 1 to 5 percent of the tears are exchanged. Therefore, it is critical for soft lens materials to have good oxygen transmission to avoid corneal hypoxia during lens wear. In extended wear during sleep, both the eyelids and the contact lens block oxygen to the cornea, resulting in a combined effect. This is why extended wear contact lenses must have high oxygen transmission. If the cornea swells over 5 to 6 percent, it will take longer to return to its normal thickness upon awakening with the lens still in place. This can cause chronic or long-term corneal hypoxia, which is associated with various corneal complications. The amount of oxygen passing through a contact lens is determined by two factors, the lens material and the lens thickness. The ability of oxygen to pass through a given lens material is called the material's oxygen permeability, known as DK. The higher the DK, the higher the oxygen transmission through a contact lens material of a given thickness. With soft lenses, DK is related to water content. A lens with 55% water content transmits more oxygen than a lens of 38% water content at the same thickness. The material's oxygen permeability, when divided by the thickness of the contact lens, is known as the oxygen transmissibility, denoted by DK over L. As lens thickness increases, the oxygen transmissibility decreases. Therefore, lenses with greater overall thickness transmit less oxygen than thinner lenses of the same material. High water lenses cannot be made as thin as lower water lenses because they tend to dehydrate, leading to corneal drying and irritation. To summarize, oxygen transmissibility is one of the most important characteristics of a contact lens since it is vital to maintenance of normal corneal health. Contact lens materials are made of special plastics known as polymers and are classified as either soft or rigid. Rigid lens materials are relatively stiff and inflexible. PMMA is the only rigid material which is not gas permeable. The evolution of rigid gas permeable lenses began with a material known as cellulose acetate butyrate, or CAB, and has progressed through the development of silicone resins, silicone acrylates, fluorosilicone acrylates, and fluorocarbon materials. 
Each new generation brings higher oxygen permeability combined with other favorable properties. Compared to RGP materials, soft lens materials readily absorb water, causing the lens to become soft and pliable. Practitioners tend to classify soft or hydrophilic lenses according to their water content, low, medium, or high. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, classifies hydrophilic lenses as either low water or high water. In general, materials with lower water content tend to have greater durability, greater resistance to lens deposits, and lower oxygen permeability than materials with higher water content. Due to their chemical composition, some hydrophilic lens materials may carry a slight electrical charge on their surfaces, making them ionic, and others may be electrically neutral or non-ionic. Non-ionic lens materials have a balanced surface charge, making them more inert or less reactive and less likely to attract lens deposits. Ionic lens materials have a greater tendency to attract deposits and undergo reactions with substances in the environment, such as contact lens solutions. The FDA classification for hydrophilic lenses is based upon their ionic nature and water content and consists of four groups. Group 1, non-ionic low water lenses. Group 2, non-ionic high water lenses. Group 3, ionic low water lenses and group four, ionic high water lenses. To review, contact lens materials possess important properties which affect their clinical performance. For soft lenses, water content and ionic charge are two such properties. Contact lens manufacturing is a complex process involving many different procedures and technologies. While new approaches are constantly being developed, the three primary methods of contact lens manufacture include spin casting, lathe cutting, and cast molding. Spin casting was the original method used to make soft lenses. The liquid polymer is injected into a spinning mold. The front surface of the lens is determined by the curvature of the mold, and the back surface is created by the centrifugal force. Spin casting creates aspheric base curves, meaning the back curve of the lens flattens from the center to the periphery of the lens. The power of the lens is determined by the rate of spin. The advantages of spin casting are that it is fast and reproducible, and lens edges are thin and comfortable. However, with spin cast lenses, there is limited ability to control the back curve of the lens to optimize certain fitting characteristics. Lathe cutting is a procedure used to manufacture hard, rigid gas permeable, and some types of soft lenses. A dry button of lens polymer is placed on a computerized lathe. This automated process can grind or cut the front and base curves onto the lens, along with additional curves if desired. The lenses are then polished to smooth the surface. At this stage, PMMA and RGP lenses are finished except for quality inspection and packaging. Soft or hydrophilic lenses must undergo a process called hydration where they are immersed in an aqueous solution to absorb water. This is the step where the lens actually transforms from a dry brittle material to the soft and flexible hydrophilic lens. Lathe cutting is a useful method for the manufacture of certain lenses, especially those made in low quantities or with custom parameters. However, it is a labor-intensive process and is usually not as reproducible as other manufacturing methods. In the cast molding method, liquid polymer is poured into a concave mold. The convex portion of the mold is then applied, clamped into place, and the material is cured with heat and ultraviolet light. Curing causes the material to convert from a liquid to a solid. After the lens is removed from the mold, it must undergo hydration to become soft and flexible. The advantages of cast molding are that it is a simple reproducible process and it allows increased speed and volume of production at a reduced cost. Quality assurance occurs at many steps throughout each manufacturing method. This process consists of a series of careful inspections and controls. It begins with analysis of the prepared polymer 
and continues with measurement and inspection of the lenses. In some cases, each lens may have undergone over 100 separate inspections. This helps to ensure that a high-quality product meets all necessary specifications and fulfills the criteria of a safe medical device. Contact lens technology is a complex and exacting science, with research and development producing better lens materials and designs. These advancements will continue to enhance the quality of life for the millions of people worldwide who enjoy the benefits of contact lenses.